Hello and welcome along to this introductory video from Shinobi Controls. My name is Sam Davis and I'm a technical evangelist here at Shinobi HQ. In this video I'm going to show you how to install one of our iOS products and then take you on a tour through some of the resources available to you as you begin to accelerate your mobile development with Shinobi Controls. I'm going to start off by assuming that you've been to our website, you've signed up for one of our 30 day trials and you've downloaded the zip file that accompanies it. You'll also receive an email which looks a little bit like this one here which includes a license.txt file which is your license key enabling you to use the trial for 30 days. We'll see how to use that later on. But let's start off by looking at this zip file you've downloaded. So if I uh, unzip it then I get presented with a DMG file so it's just a disk image. To install this, then you go through, you agree with the license. The disk image has two things which are of importance. The first is an installer, and the second is this directory, which you can drag to your library. For purposes of this video, I'm going to just drag it to my desktop there. And then I'm going to run the installer. Now what the installer does, it's a very simple um, OS X installer, so we can just nip through it. Um, I need to put my password in because uh, it's changing Xcode. What this installer does is it provides the Shinobi Controls framework of whichever product you've downloaded as one of the developer frameworks available to you in Xcode. That means it's a lot easier to use. You don't have to drag the framework into each project. It's there and it'll link against it build time for you. Now I've installed the framework, let's take a look at the resources that are available as part of this directory which you've dragged out of the disk image. The first one I want to show you is documentation. Here you can see that there's a doc set. That means that you can install the documentation as part of the Xcode documentation. And that, uh, in fact, as you've run the installer, then that will already have been done for you. However, if you've not chosen not to run, go down that route, then the HTML documentation is available as well. This looks very much like Apple documentation. We've got class references and protocol references, but we've also got this very handy user guide which is where I would recommend you start with any of the Shinobi products. This gives you an overview of, of what the product does. It also gives you a quick start guide, which we will be running through in a later video. There's a an overview of the control so you can see what different things are called as you're going through the documentation. You'll be able to determine exactly what's being talked about when you see, uh, when you see the different terms. And finally, there are these how-to guides which take some common use cases of the product and explain to you how you need to go about rendering them. For example, here is a bubble chart down at the bottom. So if I want to render one of those, then this clearly explains to me what I need to do in order to be able to, to do that. Notice that each of the how-to guides comes with an, a related code sample, which takes us back to our finder window and then this samples directory, inside which there are loads of different directories and an Xcode workspace. So if I open that up, and then down the left hand side, there are various different Xcode projects, one for each of the samples that we saw briefly. So if I open up the bubble series, for example, you can see here the code that will generate a bubble chart. Since you have a trial, then you'll have to put in the license key that you were provided by email. So it's a simple matter of opening up the license, copying that out, and then pasting it into there. Very simple. Now if I select bubble series as the target and run this up, there we go. There's a sample bubble series rendered for you. Quickly back to the finder window of that Shinobi charts directory. We also have the framework, so if you've not decided to go down the route of installing it as a developer framework inside Xcode, you can just drag this into each of the projects you wish to use Shinobi charts in. There's an uninstall tool so that you can remove the developer frameworks from Xcode. And then if you're a Xamarin user, then within the Xamarin directory, you've got the docs for Xamarin, you've got the DLL is inside the lib, um, and also all of the samples that you've, you've seen before written in native Objective-C are recreated using C-sharp and Xamarin. So that covers all of the resources that are available with your download. There's a couple of other things that I want to show you. The first of which is called Shinobi Developer. Uh, this is a portal on our website and is the central place for you to come and get learning resources and support resources. A quick run through the things that are available to you on here. First of all, we've got the API documentation. All of the documentation for all of the products is available online. We have a large selection of code samples. These are all available on GitHub, so you can go through and um, pull things down, try them out. They all work with the trials as long as you put the license key in. 
We have a very active forum, both within Shinobi Squad and further afield with the people in the community able to help you out there. And then finally, we have tutorials, a um, large selection of blog posts, often looking at some of the more advanced things that you can do with the Shinobi Controls products. All of the resources on Shinobi Developer are easily searchable via this search box here, and within that you can filter which kind of resources that you're specifically looking at. So that brings us to the end of our short video demonstrating how to install a Shinobi iOS product and a tour of the resources that are available to you. A couple of URLs, one of them is Shinobi Play. So Shinobi Play is our iPad app, it's available in the App Store. You can go download that and you can see some of the uh, features available within the different Shinobi products in a live environment without having to touch any code. And then Shinobi Developer, shinobicontrols.com slash shinobi developer is, uh, is the resource that I showed you before for all of the online learning and support needs. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Enjoy using Shinobi Controls.